What's going on guys, it's Steve. So I've been doing some thinking and some thinking I've been doing. Listen, LeBron James has a real good chance of retiring with as many rings as Michael Jordan and probably with at least one more ring than Jordan. Now think about it from a logistical standpoint. The only team that is competing with the Cleveland Cavaliers at this moment is LeBron James. I mean, <laughs> that's funny, uh, which is true because I'll get to that in a second, is the Golden State Warriors. Now, when I said is LeBron James, that pretty much means is if you guys remember the first four games, uh, Cavs versus Golden State in the 2016 NBA Finals, LeBron James was playing extremely passive and I started making videos saying, look, LeBron, if you don't start getting aggressive, you don't, if you don't start shooting more, if you just keep passing, I, you know, what am I going to do? You know, I got, how can I sit here and argue that Stephen Curry is not better than you when you're, you're playing extremely passive? You know what I mean? So in terms of that, it's like, wait a minute. The only thing really standing in his way is himself. Because if you think about it, if LeBron James would have went hard like he did in game five, six, and seven from the start of the NBA Finals, they probably would have beat Golden State in five games. Right now, that's obviously just hypothetical. Think about this now Golden State versus Cleveland. Now, Stephen Curry still cannot. Well, his defense is looking better, but I still don't think he can guard LeBron. I mean, Ky Kyrie Irving. But not only that, here's the thing Kyrie Irving is LeBron's best teammate ever in the NBA Finals in terms of points per game. He averaged 27 points per game. Now, keep in mind, this is Kyrie Irving before. He entered his prime. He's not even in his prime yet. So if he enters his prime this season, which most people predict he will, and I agree with that, how can we sit here and say that the Cleveland Cavaliers won't beat the Golden State Warriors? Everyone's saying all oh, the Warriors are favorites to win the NBA title. I don't I don't think so. I'm sorry, but LeBron is just that good. LeBron James is just that good, man. We've seen it. He was down 3-1, and in the last Three games of the NBA Finals, he averaged 36, 11, and 9. That's absolutely ridiculous. The last three games to average 36, 11, and 9. That's absolutely ridiculous. Right? So, I think LeBron is good enough to win at least three more rings, even if Golden State stays together, because Kevin Durant only signed a two-year deal. Even if Golden State stays together, there's still a big, big chance that LeBron James can win at least three or four more NBA titles. You know, and I truly believe this because if you think of all of the greats to ever play the game, this dude's been to the finals seven times, going six years in a row. When was the last player that went to the NBA finals six years in a row? I think the only player, and he might not even have gone six years in a row, Bill Russell. You know what I mean? Um... Actually, I think I think James Jones is there just because he was teammates with LeBron, Wade, Bosh, and then LeBron in Cleveland as well. But you know what I'm saying? So LeBron is definitely good enough to do that, you know, to defy all odds and beat Kevin Durant and Curry on the same team. He's no doubt good enough to do that. And now with, you know, it could even be argued he should have four NBA titles. Well, not four because he choked in 2011, but three NBA, four, yeah, four NBA titles now because, well, actually five. Jeez, man. He should, if you think about it, he should have five NBA titles now. Because think about it. In 2015, he definitely would have won if he had Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love. <laughs> Heck, if he only had Kevin Love, he would have won. If he only had Kyrie, he would have won. You know, and then on top of that, in 2014, they would have won. LeBron's the only one to show up. Chris Bosh averaged 13 points per game. D-Wade averaged 15. You know what I mean? And then... In 2011, LeBron choked it. So that was the only finals, in my opinion, that was his fault. Now, in 2007, he kind of underperformed, but you kind of expect that from young players. Um, as you guys can see, like, well, not he was young, but inexperienced in terms of deep playoff pushes, I would like to say, because, you know, you look at Kyrie Irving he's shooting the basketball when they were up by three, and he almost cost them the game by doing that because if Golden State would have scored, they would have been screwed and things like that. And then Stephen Curry underperforming in game seven. It happens with inexperienced players, right? So LeBron, I think he finished averaging 22, 7, and 4 in 2007. Seven NBA Finals, right? So if you think about it that way, he should have 2012, 2013, 2014, if D Wade and Bosch were healthy, all three of those, 2015 and 16. So that would have been five NBA titles. So now that we think about it, with Kyrie Irving so young in his prime, with Kevin Love young and in his prime, how can we sit there and say he's not going to be 
he's not going to have at least three more NBA championships. I truly think he will. I truly think he will. I, I've said this back in, even before Kevin Durant signed with Golden State, and I said it even after. I said that the Cleveland Cavaliers will end up three-peating, which will lead to LeBron James winning five NBA titles, and there's a possibility for a four-peat. You know, I, that's what I said. So that would be six titles. So it is possible. It definitely is possible for LeBron to finish with more titles. If not more than the same amount as Michael Jordan. You know, and then for everyone that says, oh, well, how can you say LeBron's better than Jordan if he has more rings? Okay, well, what are you going to say when he has the same amount of rings or when LeBron has more? And he already has more NBA Finals appearances. And he's not even half, well, he's halfway through his career, but he still has at least four or five years left in his prime. You know what I mean? So, I mean, come on, dude. For someone that, for someone that turn it up like that, it's, it's crazy, man. Anyway, guys, I'm out of here. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I apologize for the shorter videos. I've been struggling with the fever for the last few days. But again, the grind never stops, so I still continue to make videos. But if you guys can hear, I'm breathing heavy. I have a terrible fever. Anyway, I'm out of here. I love you guys. Peace.